G'day folks. I've oh, just been out shopping around and doing a bit of uh, hanging out at the junkyard again. Found some cool stuff for autopsy and inspection so we'll do a few of them just in a moment. Um, also catching up on lots of messages and things. I should really do more of that. But yeah, it's all coming along quite nicely actually. Um, walked into my local uh, Dick Smith Electronics and unfortunately they can't get rid of old TVs or things. Uh, at least not without destroying the screen. They have to run a knife across the panel or smash it or something like that, so that's a pain in the ass. They had a couple of big sam Sanyos that they were throwing out, but they said they had to actually cut them and then put them in the uh, rubbish bin, so it had been diving through rubbish to try and find it. Nah, I hate dumpster diving. So they can stay there. Um, Retrovision said they had three big flat panels like a Hitachi Plasma and a few others just last week so I should, really should go in there more often but he said they'll have more within the next couple of weeks anyway so there should be a steady supply of flat panel TVs to have fun with or try and fix coming from Retrovision uh, I think they changed their name recently to something else like Best Buy or some, one of those American sounding companies actually they were obviously bought out so that's all good got more flat panel TV fun um, and saving them from landfill anyway because they just hike them straight into the dumpster. There's no e-waste recycling program for either Dick Smith or Retrovision by the looks of it. So I'll at least break up plastics and metals and things and recycle them as best I can. So anyway, let's have a look at today's haul. Okay, we've got goodies. Uh, I bought that one this morning just for the hell of it. Uh, I need more storage on the camera so I'll format that one and get into service after this video. But the big dollar item I found, well, assuming it works, is this industrial touchscreen console. It's made by 3M Touch Systems Korea. I uh, don't know what condition it's in. They've cut the touchscreen cable off it, which is a pain. Uh, it looks like there's only about four, maybe five cores in there, so perhaps a USB. Uh, I think being fairly modern, you'd hope it's a USB interface. Um, yeah, haven't put power to it yet, it's 12 volts. The panel's got a couple of little scratches on it, but it doesn't appear to be the um, thin film with a dielectric layer. It's probably a capacitive type, but that's supposed to be a touch panel. And it does look like it looking under the uh, surround. Uh, there's a bunch of old VT Commodores at the yard, partially wrecked out, like they pulled the engine and transmissions and everything major out of them. Uh, airbags and other stuff were gone, so I just ratted the relays and fuses and other crap. Don't know how many of them are good. Most it would be a fair bit. Most of them are good spares to keep on the shelf, like that one there. Old cube relays normally open, normally closed. That's a Ford relay. Don't know why they were in a Commodore, but there's Ford relays in there. Either that, or they took the dash assembly from a Ford and threw it in the back. But yeah. It's all good spare stuff to have, 60 amp fuses, and I also got the PCMs and the uh, head unit from So we'll find something nasty to do to these. Yeah, 3.8 automatic PCM, made in Singapore. Aussie car, Singaporean made brain. <laughs> Singaporean, I think that's how you pronounce it, Singapore. That one doesn't say what it's for, but they were both autos, pretty much all of them are autos, it's not often you see manuals. And the head unit, nothing special there, Eurovox, uh, model 92082104, um, generic single disc player, they sound pretty shitty so we'll find something horrible to do with this one and then return it to the scrap bin as well. Well probably just a full, full autopsy rather than blowing anything up. We'll do a full autopsy on one of these, full autopsy on one of them, uh, full autopsy on that stuff I got yesterday, which is a commander system, telephone, and we'll see how well this thing works. Uh, likewise, nice little indexable milling tool with an R8 um, taper. So the machines at work are all R8, so I can use it there if I need to. And yet another truck valve stem, perfect for my hydrostatic testing uh, projects because I can just screw this into any vessel and then just screw, screw my uh, water discharge line onto it. Very handy, very very handy, always grab them if you do high pressure stuff. Um, 
So anyway, let's get this sorted out. It doesn't appear to have been wet, although being stainless it's hard to tell, an alley. Um, I'm just going to take a gamble and put power to it, I think. Maybe take the back panel off. Let's take the back panel off. And they're not screwed in very well anyway. Okay, inside it's not much different to anything other, any other monitor apart from the 3M MicroTouch module that's in there. That goes to the front of the panel. And this one here, which I disconnected, is the uh, cut-off lead. It has black, brown, red, green, blue, and another black. Oh, that's heat shrunk. That's the shielding. So there's ground shielding and then uh, three, four, five cores. I don't know. Might be USB. We'll have a look. Okay, let's put some power to it. We've got the 12 volt source. It's about 12.4 unloaded, so I think it's getting a little bit low. But we'll see what happens. So that's hot. Power's on. It's red light. No signal. Oh, look at that. It's alive. It does look a bit blotchy though. I think there's water between the two layers. Yeah, it has gotten wet at one point. There's a blotchiness to it. Might have to strip the uh, touch screen off and just see if there's water between it and the diffuser. More than likely there is because you can see it there at that angle, that shadowy nastiness. Well, that's a good sign. Now, on to something else. Actually, we'll make the, um, make the ECUs a separate video. And that stuff's separate, but we'll work on this a bit more. Okay, well, there's no water trap between the touch panel and the LCD. It's actually in the LCD between the thin plastic layers of diffuser material. Uh, it's pretty much terminal. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, I could try and strip the panel down, but then you get dirt in them, dust. Uh, water actually dissolves some of the chemicals on the panel, on the diffusers as well, and causes more problems once you once you try and clean it and dry it. So I'll just run it as is, see what happens. It's a freebie. Who cares? <laughs> Panel, touch panel should be fine. Not bad. Okay, well I suppose closing notes would be that the panel doesn't appear to be integrated into the uh, Touchtronic system at all. It just gets power and grounding and the rest of it's independent. So if I could actually separate that touch screen assembly from the panel, it could be attached to the front of any 15 inch LCD it doesn't have to be this one, it's just a matter of mounting the panel in here and making sure that it works properly. It'd be tricky, but it could be rebuilt. It's just unfortunate this one's uh, suffered some permanent water damage. So anyway, I'm going to put the back cover back on it and give it a run with the computer. Okay, let's give this one go before I put it away for now. Turn the computer on somewhere. Working okay. Once the CCFL backlights warm up, it'll uh, get a bit brighter and probably drive off a lot of that moisture too. It's a bit hard to see because it's laying down on the bench, but stand it up. You can certainly see it's been exposed to water. Standing straight at it, it's not too bad, but it's still pretty obvious. Very obvious. So it looks like I'd be looking for a new panel for this one, but the touch panel should work. Anyway, it does display, but it's just ruined. Oh well. Again, free equipment's free equipment. You can't complain. Oops, what button did I push? It's just display resolution. 
all the buttons are on the back. <laughs> Menu on it. Oh yeah, your normal. Not half bad. Anywho, that's that one done. And stay tuned for some more little autopsies because it's just started raining and I ain't going to be working outside. So we'll start tearing through some of this other equipment. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.